Hey guys, so I'm finally back with another tutorial. It's been a hot minute since I have given you guys some creativeness. I apologize for the all black. I'm pretty sure you guys are probably like, is this girl emo now? No, I legit film either after work or before work, so I have to be prepared to hop up and leave and dip set. So, um, yeah, we have a dress code, all black or thing. I decided to do a tutorial based off of orange lipstick. It's completely different than what I would ever go for. Usually when I want to go for like a fun, bold lip, I'll go for like purple, pink, or red. Orange was never like in my thought process. I'm definitely a girl that is a fan of cut creases, but they tend to be more dramatic and more for like outings and, you know, dress up type things. So I decided to go for a more wearable cut crease that you can definitely wear to work or you can wear out for shopping or just hanging out, period, during the day. I decided to pair this subtle cut crease with a nice popping lower lash line to add a little pizzazz. So um, without further ado, continue to watch to get this look and I, of course, I hope you guys enjoy it. So pretty much how I start off in every tutorial, I'm going to prime and prep my eyes using the MAC Paint Pot and Paint Chili. Next, I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and with a Sigma P80 brush, I'm going to evenly spread that throughout my eyelid. For this look, I decided to stick with the Butt Naked Palette by NYX, and I'm first going to take this charcoal color, and with an angled brush, I'm just going to outline my crease. With a Real Techniques crease brush, I'm just going to blend that color out to further diffuse it so it's not as harsh. Now using this dark brown color and with a pencil brush, I'm going to put this right above the charcoal color just to give it a little bit of shadow. Again, I'm going to go in with that Real Techniques crease brush just to blend, blend, blend it on out. Next, I'm going to take this pale pink color with a real technique shadow brush. I'm just going to place this right on the bottom of my lid. I felt that my lid could use a tad bit more dimension, so with this sparkly pink color, I'm just going to dab it right on top of the pale pink color. Next, with the NYX Curve Eyeliner, I'm just going to do a very, very, very subtle, skinny winged liner. I definitely want to bring a little bit more light to my eyes, so first I'm going to take MAC's Prep and Prime Highlighter and I'm going to place that right underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to take Max Pro Longwear and place that right on top of the Mac Prep and Prime highlighter. I'm also going to place that down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the bottom of my chin. Now I'm just going to blend that all out with my damp beauty blender. Concealer in place, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Powder and a Fluffy Brush by Sigma. Going back to finish up my eyes, I'm going to go back to that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and just line my waterline. 
Next, I'm going to take NYX Eye Pencil and Aqua Shimmer and place that right on top of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. With the smudge brush and using Max Aquadisiac's eyeshadow, I'm just going to place that right on top of the aqua shimmer just to smoke it out just a little bit. Going back to the NYX palette, I'm going to use this white color and an angled brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and of course the inner corners of my eyes. Of course, you want to make sure we load up those lashes with lots and lots and lots of mascara. Now it is time to contour and I'm going to use my NYX Do Well Contour and Highlighting Compact. And I'm first going to contour my nose, of course my cheeks and my forehead, and we cannot forget our neck. For blush, I just could not decide and decided to go for two. For the first one, I'm going to go with Ambering Rose by MAC and I'm going to place this all over my cheeks. Next, I'm going to take NARS Taj Mahal and place this right on top of Ambering Rose to give me more of a sun-kissed glow. Make sure the light hits me in all the right places. I'm definitely going to highlight using my MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm going to take that down to bridge my nose, my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and of course the bottom of my chin. Mm-hmm, that's right, you guessed it. Blend, blend, blend. Now it is time for lips, and I'm first going to take Max Lip Liner and Chestnut and just line my lips. Next, I'm going to take Max Lady Danger, which is this beautiful burnt orange color, and just fill in my lips. Finally, I'm just going to take Revlon's Coral Crush and apply that right on top just to give it some gloss. And to complete this look, of course, we are going to set our face in place. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you thumbs up for more. And if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button located right down below. I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Mwah. is the little rugrat who's making all the noise. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. My name is Nia. And I am Nia. How old are you? Two. Two? Are you auntie's baby? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Give me a kiss. I can't get lipstick on you. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss right here. Oh, you're so sweet. I love you so much. I love you so much. Are you going to be a little quieter so auntie can film? Yeah. Thank you. Say bye. Bye.